Hello friends, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to download SQL Developer from Oracle website and same how we can install on the Windows machine. Yeah. So to install SQL Developer from Oracle website, first of all, you need to log in into oracle.com, right? So you must have an account on oracle.com, right? If, if you go here and click view accounts, then here we have a two options right one is for sign and another, another is for create an account if you do not have account then first of all create an account okay and then click on sign in so once you click on the sign in button then here uh, they'll ask you to enter username as well as password right and after that you will have to click on sign in button once you log in then we'll have to click on this triple line and now under the product help we have a download so click on this scroll down you have a different section so basically we are looking for the developer tools right so go in this developer tools now inside the developer tools we have a sql developer click over here now here here we have a different bunch of download for different operating system whichever is suitable for you you can download so for me uh, as I am working on Windows operating system which is 64 bits so I am going to download this one so this is nothing but the one of the zip zipped folder uh, having size 496 MB so once you click over here download will be started as I have already downloaded and kept in my e drive so here you can see I have downloaded that uh, uh, zipped uh, folder right so once you download then right click over here and go to extract all and click on extract so that this will be extracted right or unzipped once that is extracted then go inside this and as you know SQL developer is just a portable tool so you don't need to basically install right so simply go inside the SQL developer and here you can see executable so just click on this so I will recommend you to right click on this and send this uh, and send shortcut to on your uh, basically desktop. So I'm going to create a shortcut on my desktop so that no need to come again and again this location right. Now let me go to the desktop and here you can see I have created SQL developer shortcut click over here. now sql developer is going to open here you can see that is getting open now let me show you how to connect sql developer is nothing but it's a client tool which provides nice gui there you can write uh, a query you can format query you can have a different basically functionality uh, sql developer provides which you cannot get on uh, sql plus right uh, now here you can open a blank sheet so before that uh, of course we need to create a connection right so now currently my uh, this SQL developer is not connected with uh, Oracle database so what you have to do you can see this green plus sign so click on this so that we can create a connection here you need to specify the connection name I, I would say my connection any name you can specify over here right now you need to specify username that I am going to specify HR. So if you would have not watched my previous tutorial where I had shown how to install Oracle database, how to download and install Oracle database, then please go and watch. And password also I had given HR. Now here uh, uh, host name just I am going to keep as localhost because my Oracle server is running on the same machine. Yeah, in case if you are trying to connect remotely then you have to specify the server IP address right now port number 1521 is perfectly fine uh, by default Oracle runs on the 1521 until unless you, do, you, you, you did not change right now we need to specify the SID SID is a system identifier or you can say global database name Oracle global database name so so 
if you do not remember not a problem you need to press windows r and here you will have to write services.msc okay and click on ok and here in this services you need to search for oracle services so here you can see oracle services is up and running so whatever word you find after oracle service that is your basically uh, sid so in my case sid is orcl so after oracle service we have a word is called orcl that was the default uh, basically a global database name I had kept so if you would have changed while installing the Oracle then same name you will have to specify so in my case ORCL so I'm going to specify uh, SID as ORCL yeah now everything is fine now now click on the test so here you can see the status the status showing success that means I am able to now everything is uh, all parameters are correct uh, if anything is wrong then you will get an error now I am going to click on connect and here you can see my connection has created right so just expand it now here uh, we can open uh, already we have opened a, a worksheet and here I can show you just execute one query select a star from employees sorry here if I run this query here you can see we have a lot of data right somewhere around 107 right so uh, HR schema which is the default which, 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 which schema is already pre-existing schema within the Oracle which contains employees table already right I haven't created so here you can see how we can download SQL developer from Oracle website and how uh, we can install or we, what we can say how we can open on a, a Windows machine and I have shown you how to create a connection as well so that's all I have in this video tutorial guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial